So this cross-dressing, dress wearing, crooked wig wearing, kissing man in the mouth, Uncle Tom ass nigga by the name of Charles Barkley, fixed his mouth to say that he agreed with the Klan jury decision to not indict Officer Darren Wilson for the murder of Michael Brown. I'm not surprised because this is the same coon that agreed with a jury's decision to acquit George Zimmerman for murdering Trayvon Martin. If you pay close attention, you'll see that basically the people who sided with George Zimmerman are the same people who sided with Darren Wilson. Things that make you go, hmm. Now, if you know anything about Charles Barkley, if you were a teammate of his, an ex-friend, if you just know him from a distance, you would know very quickly that he is one self-loathing bastard. He is very selfish. That's why Michael Jordan don't fuck with him no more. That's why he couldn't win a championship. Now, this is what he said in regards to not being black enough on a sports radio program. For some reason, we are brainwashed to think if you're not a thug or an idiot, you're not black enough. If you go to school, make good grades, speak intelligent, and don't break the law, you're not a good black person. It's a dirty, dark secret in the black community. Charles, when the last time your ass been in the black community? You ain't been a part of the black community since you left Leeds, Alabama. But to your point, speak intelligent, Charles Barkley. Break the law, Charles Barkley. Make good grades. Come on, Charles. You know you wasn't never no damn good student. You got by because of your talents, your basketball abilities. So maybe this is a personal thing that you have going on. Maybe it's a personal thing that black people just have with you or just people have with you. Now, he also went on to say that this notion that cops are just out there killing black men is ridiculous. Really? Hmm. Well, let's take a look at what ProPublica had to say. Young black males in recent years were at a far greater risk of being shot dead by police than their white counterparts, 21 times greater. According to ProPublica analysis of federally collected data on fatal police shootings, the 1,217 deadly police shootings from 2010 to 2012 captured in the federal data show that blacks aged 15 to 19 were killed at a rate of 31.17 per million while just 1.47 per million white males in that same age range died at the hands of police. So you really think we just making this shit up, huh? You really think that we just want to be mad at the police? We really want to just hate the police? Like we don't want to be safe in our communities. You know why we don't trust the police? Because they don't trust us. Because every time they come around, they always on some bullshit. They never wave. They never speak unless it's in an authoritative manner. The only time they come around is when it's drama. So people don't relate to the police as being the nice guys because they just aren't nice guys in the black community. They're not. You might find one or two, but that's it. So it's real in the field, baby. It's real what we're talking about. We're not making this stuff up. I tell you what, if you're tired of hearing people talk about racism in America, if you want me to stop talking about it, I'll stop, I'll make you a deal. I'll stop talking about police being racist for killing black males when they start killing white males at the same rate. How about that? No more talk. 